not exactly the time. And the debate was, it's a classic Tibetan debate, the debate was that the universal sound om, om, is the essence from which everything comes. It's an unchanging thing. Mm -hmm. It's like the God particle, right? So, the debate was, is sound unchanging? And then you have to debate, right? You have to say, consider sound. It is a change. If you were debating with these people that said, change, the sound on is unchanging. It never fluctuates. It's the essence from which everything comes, right? That was a belief system. That's why we chant Om. That's one of the reasons. Yeah? And if you were trying to get to reality, not trying to prove the Buddhists right or trying to be correct, <coughs> you're trying to get to reality. You're trying to get, is it possible that Om is an unchanging thing? If you were a debater walking around India with your map of all existing things, some are changing, some are unchanging. In the changing things, you have physical and mental, roughly, and then the ones that are both. Where would you put sound? Changing. Oh, I would put it in changing. Both. Yeah. Change. Change. Both. Define sound. Oh, good. Good one. Sound is produced. Ah. Oh! Yeah. So if sound is produced, let's find the synonyms for Wait, producing. The sound definition. Mm -hmm. Change I know it's not the definition, I was trying to get them somewhere else. <coughs> changing thing. A produced thing is necessarily a changing thing. We learned that as a definition, right? Okay. So, you, how would you place the argument, the debate, using your the three things you would to pose a debate to someone like that. Consider sound. Consider sound. Yeah, you got the subject. It's a changing thing. It's a changing thing. Because it's produced. Because it's made. Yeah, it's produced. Does that make sense to you? Yes. 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 Yeah. Duh. But yeah. Om is a sound, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a changing thing. It means it's a it's the quality sound. Sound is produced. He's just said sound is a changing thing. But Om is a concept, it's not a sound. Oh, no. how about the sound Om? Consider is oh, sound. sound Tapa. Is it Om? Sound. How can you produce, you produce though? Because well, it, it wasn't there and now it's here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can make it. Can you make but can you make the universal Om? Yeah, is this Oh, sound? that's a good, that's a really good debate. Yeah, are you saying right? OM or are you saying the sound? That's of right, it's the sound OM, sound the, sound. the universal. Yeah. Awesome. Right, and is, a, is there such thing as a mental sound? Yeah. Oh, nice. Whoa. Can you uh, have a dunchi of a sound? Define sound. Okay. Well, well so sound is anything that you no, hear, right? It has a source, right? Do you hear all sounds that you can? <laughs> Someone has to hear it. It's not debating time yet. Yeah. I just want to give you some concepts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not debating time yet. You're all very ready. You're all very ready. Let's. So, would you say sound is a changing or unchanging thing? Changing. 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 Okay, because Paul, Master Paul, forced me to think that way. Why? Because he said all changing things are produced things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because sound is produced, it must be changing thing. Mm -hmm. He just forced me there. And I have to go, duh, okay, I believe you. Unless I want to say, oh, that's not the sound I was talking about. Then your question about linguistics comes into play. What did you mean by sound? Do you mean this? And you can do that in the debate too. Do you mean this? With those four answers you can Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. Um, the other thing that's interesting, language. It's just a network of G's. Mm. Mm. How's that? Mm -hmm. yeah. La all languages is this creature's network of G's. The representation of G's. Mm. System to organize cheese. System to organize G's. <coughs> Not G's. Yeah. Yeah. Like Here is the other question. So here is the Tapambi Tapa, right? How about is 
Sound is a changing thing. Is that takpa or mitakpa? Mitakpa. Why? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? Wait, are you? I'm asking? saying is sound. Is, is, that, is that sentence always the same, or is, is, that sa is the thing? fact that sound is a changing thing, which he just proved, is the fact that sound is a changing thing, oh. Oh. Cha changing or unchanging? Unchanging. Unchanging. Oh. unchanging. 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 Boy, it's confusing, isn't it? Unchanging. 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 Is the fact uh -huh. that changing. sound is a changing thing? Changing or unchanging? <laughs> unchanging. No, it's changing. What is unchanging? It's, 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 it's changing. No, no, we're getting, to, we're getting to reality here. We're not. Where does the facts live? Oh, very nice. And all. Yeah, I mean. All facts are unchanging. Why are facts unchanging? Because they're facts. Well, they're fixed. But the fact is not the same fact for everything. But an unfixed thing would be the thing holding it, so right. the fact, right? A mind. So right. Where is the fact living? In the mind. Uh, let's take the fact mind. of gravity, okay? Or the fact Shit. of breathing, or the fact of... Uh, the fact that be live beings breathe, or the fact that you can hear me. Yeah? Let's take that fact. Just call it that. Yeah? yeah? It is that. You experience that. We can try and figure out where it is that it's provable, but let's call it fact. Yeah? Facts are unchanging. One of the. No, all schools understand this the same. Yeah. Takpa. Unchanging, that small group, yeah? Facts sit in that group. Because that one one of the explanations of takpa, which wasn't the definition, it's a, st a stable thing. Right. Yeah? For now. Okay. Huh? <laughs> For now. Like no. Barack Obama's the president. That's a fact, right? Yeah. For twelve less than twelve more months, right? Yeah. So it's a fact that's true now. That's it now. The so statement The statement is a fact. And in January of next year, that will not be a fact. That's fine. Right. It mm -hmm. sort of sounds like something also that is unchanging, that can be and then not be, and what it is, is unchanging. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. stable. Yeah. It sounds very similar to something like, like that. Emptiness. Yeah. Emptiness. yeah. Right? But isn't a fact not function? function? Oh, <laughs> does, a, does a fact perform a function? That's a really good debate, okay? Does it change yeah. while it's performing that function? Depending on the It can't change. If it's a fact, it's an unchanging thing. It's a fact. Obama could resign. Yes, but it's not. The, the, remember the difference between changing and unchanging is the implication is that it's growing and coming out of being so or is it's stable it's as not unchanging. Permanent. Just it's not, not permanent. Yeah. It's not permanent. It's just not, not changing. changing. Mm. Nice. Hence the big uh, uh, oh, yeah. issue that Geshe-la said: don't call it permanent or impermanent. Mm. You have to go dig there. We don't have lots of time, and I want you to debate. Okay? And so we're going to do these two okay. concepts, which will be heady next week, which there are groups of similar cases and groups of dissimilar cases to prove stuff. But before there, <laughs> let's go here. We'll do a quick test first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to pick the right answer. If I start a debate, and here are your four, qu four answers, you can do it in English or Tibetan, yeah? If I go sky chuchin, consider sky. It has a color because it's blue. What's your answer? No. Huh? Come on, just go for it. Yeah. No. What's your answer? I agree. The sky is in Oh, sorry. I'm going normal sky, middle of the day. Thanks for the clarification on language. We're talking about the midday sky in a normal place without clouds. Okay? In, on planet Earth. <laughs> it's <laughs> considered that kind of sky. It is. It has a color because it's blue. Does that function? Is that okay as a logical statement? 
No. Yes or no? no. Yes. The reason, okay, but not associated. Is not correct. Um, the reason is not correct? The yeah. normal sky in the middle of the day is not blue? Yes. It is. The reason is the color. But that's no way so it has the color. Uh, that yeah. She is color and Shadrach is, is blue. So that... Yeah, but you can still have a color. You can still have a color, no problem. That's the way you right. phrased it. It's just the way... Yeah. Consider the sky, it has a color because it's blue. Yes. That's how yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Go with your instinct. Yeah. Who's yeah. duh? Yeah. No. Who's not duh? Okay, let's see what computer says. <laughs> <laughs> computer says no. <laughs> it says duh. It's a simple thing. If you're a stupid debater, you're going to open a debate with a statement they agree with, and then you have no debate. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> so you lose. Okay, let's go take two. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Consider the sky, normal sky in the middle of the day, planet Earth, no clouds. Okay? It has a color because it's green with orange stripes. Takmadrup. Who says Takmadrup? Who says Kevin Macho? Who says the? This is teacher. You could say teacher, but you may as well be incorrect because Takmadru is right. Good. Computer says yes. Okay, one more. Consider sky, normal sky, middle of the day, planet of Earth, no clouds. It is green with orange stripes because it has a color. What Kevin Macho? Because your assertion is incorrect. The reason is okay. Thank you. Because the reason is okay. The sky does have a color. Yeah? But that doesn't mean that the assertion is right. That's cool. Thank you, Paul. You're quite welcome. So this is all I wanted you to practice. Now, oh, correct. Ding. Uh, computer says yes. Computer. Now, who, uh, this will go at 10.15, I think, if you want to stay. If you don't want to stay, you can stay for five minutes. But what I wa want to invite you to do is to come up with some argument that we can do together, like something I've written before, or something you can have yourselves if you want to create it. How about this? Consider a person they cannot get enlightened because they are incapable of generating compassion, great compassion, that stays. Consider a person, it's not possible for them to get enlightened because they don't, they can't generate oh, great that. compassion that stays. <laughs> so wait, your assertion is that they can't get enlightened? Yeah. And the reason is because they can't generate great compassion that stays. Yeah. Okay. Talk about you. Uh, no, I would say choo -choo. Right. Can you define no. stays? Are you saying like of one specific person? Like this person can't? Ooh, would, no, it, would like it be Kabamajun? Because the assertion is not right? Yeah, the reason. The person could. But yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Because the person can get enlightened. Okay. But the you, you could answer both there, okay? Oh. Yeah. You could answer both, but it's good. Your choice of which one you answer oh, will determine my choice of what I say to you next. Okay? So, are you happy to use that as an exercise where all of us together, every week, knock this one out? And what this means is that you'll sit down and you'll come up with possible answers like you would say Kyabamachum or Takmadru or you might choose to say Chichir and I might go, you're an idiot. I just told you why. Because that they can't generate enough great compassion that stays. Right? You, and you can do like a chess game to say if he says that, I'm going to say this. And if he says that, I'm going to say this. One side of you takes the question one side of you takes the answers, meaning one side of your group, yeah, if a group you're into groups of four, and then as a class, we'll get together more and more and more until we have two groups of people that have a bunch of practice on this question and have gone deep into breaking the answers, and they test those out with other people that they don't know what they've been planning, 
but you'll have your own answers and questions and it'd be really sexy to see you play that out. <laughs> do you think that's possible? Yes. So, because, uh, we won't, do you want to practice or do you want to go home and take it mentally? Practice. Go, practice. go home? <laughs> okay, let's go home or practice. Home? Be okay. It's just Stephen, <laughs> who's not south, by the way. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's have five minute practice and then we go home. Yeah? Okay. So, can I, <laughs> can I get you to be next to a person, yeah, or get four of you together, group yourselves in any group whatsoever. Uh, if you need to go, thank you for staying. And then get a sheet of paper. If you need a sheet of paper from someone else, Stephen's got some. <laughs> Don't drop things. And one of you, write down the question, which is, consider a person. Do you want paper? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No. No? Do you need paper? Yeah, we need paper. Oh. oh. <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work either. So one of you write the question, the other one write the two answers and together figure out what the next question would be and what the next answer to each of the questions would be until you stop. We're using your example. Yeah. They could not get it back. Consider a person is a subject. They cannot get enlightened, is the assertion. The reason is because they are incapable of great compassion that stays. They are not capable of great compassion and states. I chose this question because you already have some answers to a bunch of these questions. So if we how are you? Good. How are you? If we test and someone can't get in my that's good. Okay. So, do you want to type it up? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, now we have to go through the test. We have to know where if somebody said, oh, I drew a blank, we can answer. Yes, all the possible outcomes. So that is yes. But that's that's a possible answer that you might get. If you're debating against them, they might just go away. And then what I'm saying is one, it's one possible outcome. If you would, yes. And then what kind of attack would you go? You might use the fourth phase to give an example. That's what you have to do. Well, we'd have to yeah. say without yeah. somebody's like a factor. We'd have to prove without having to say. 
this or is it is it is it is Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. But we're just going to rub it on the screen. Right. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I don't think that's going to be there anywhere. I think why you can have the ultimate body child is that possible? I have a question. So here's the beautiful thing about why I chose this thing and what I want to watch you guys do. If you can come up with logical proof, what's another proof you can give? That's a logical proof. Scripture from the Buddha. So you would then have to know. No, no. Then I would, I would go down the track of going, what are the seven stages of our Bhagavad Gita? Remember that list? So that would help you with one part. And then you have to go back and go, well, have I heard this argument before? That job is an attacker. Beings that have enough time to make them make them cash so you can't get them like you. So we can put them in the rain. So, how can I go? Well, that's what it takes to study. 
in the ACI. Are you excited yourself to the thing? Because we assume that we have for a while that we're talking about the conversation of the mind. Why do you say I'm going to say I don't know if everyone else is going to go there, but you could go down the road of the proving that the being has a lot of time. Well, you could go down the road of the proving that the being has a lot of time. And you could recite all sides of the powers of the Buddha, the development of the Buddha, the prosecution for something that is breaking I already saw that in the statement is completely on the opposing side, because you're doing both, right? Yeah. You're doing the question so and the answer. So that's an attacker, and your job is to find a way is the speeding up of your awakening, because you're getting to those to really like you can get or to be able to prove that even knowing what it is is on what basis or even behave it the other part of you is going to say you know it for sure but by definition you can get like I don't think because I don't think oh very nice very nice I do not think that 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 I do so I was saying also my Challenging, right? Yeah. I don't like it. Uh, good. <laughs> Give me some of the problems you encountered. Uh, well, I, I, I completely disagree with the statement. So it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard to build a fact to defend something that you disagree with. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Nice, nice. I got you, I got you. So did you get help from your group then? We all have the same thing. <laughs> okay. How did you go? I'm ignoring the problem group. <laughs> we have to go refer to our own belief system at some point. Yeah. To see if we believe that there is such a person. Oh, but you haven't even moved on to enlightenment, do you? <laughs> No, I think he's saying. Oh, I see. Oh, or the opposite. Oh, that's that's good. Or is that can a person get enlightened? Yeah, that a person can be enlightened. That's good. Anyone else? What did you guys do? Yeah, you guys. We had defining terms issues. Yeah. Good. Who had defining term issues? Also. Great. Who had proof issues? Who had proof issues? We put in a time factor. You did? Yes. Give me an example. Well, Richard did. He said the person could maybe be enlightened in some future lifetime, could develop great compassion in some future lifetime, at which point he could become enlightened. Great. So then, or she, or she, uh, 
that and then okay. I can say um, I don't believe in future lives. It, well, that was our question, or actually Richard's question here. He was he thought he should develop a whole new debate here. No, you are. You're supposed to. But, but yeah. just his question back to you, and then your question back to him, right? It's not coming up with a whole new assertion and a whole new. No, he would he would just push me by saying uh, in the future. It, but but he's questioning my reason, right? So he might say, "Take my drink." I don't think your reason is if he's going to say that reincarnation doesn't happen, for example. He doesn't need a right? whole new assertion. He's just he's we don't have to explain it. why we say he No, we you have to push person. me to go there. Yeah. And then yeah, and I'm going. Oh my goodness! You know what the hell? Don't you get it? And then so you at could, this point, it's just a back and forth. That's what it is. Right. We haven't yet gone into some of the mechanics of the relationships the between. What's a good reason, a valid reason, as a, you know, as opposed to an invalid reason? We haven't gone to checking those relationships. But I don't want you to lose track of that beautiful thing that you said. We had to check our belief systems. Mm. The point of this bloody thing is for you to check where you stand on this issue. Can you get enlightened? Is one of the causes of enlightenment great compassion? These guys had a great answer because I screwed up the question. I didn't know, <laughs> but it's still good because he got you to proof. Then the other the other problems with proof is there's two ways to prove something. One is through logical reasoning, right? The other one is exactly. point to it. Scripture. <laughs> well, scripture quotes. Oh, if you're in a scripture context, meaning a monastery and the rest, right? And for the purposes of our study, I'm going to say anything you learned here in the ACI courses is up for grabs, so long as it's a quote from scripture, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you could say, the do we have enough lifetimes, push down the debate of proof, proof of future life. So you have to remember Dharma Kirti, you have to remember the Charvakas, you have to remember the proof they said about Nirlangi Cure, the principal cause. You, you have to, where do you stand on that, right? If you're gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Or, you guys went, even better, they're like, hold on, enlightenment doesn't mean Buddhahood. Uh, you don't need great compassion uh, to get nirvana. Oh, damn, they killed me. Right? And I haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see how just 10 minutes of pushing just a simple question that you we practice all the time, and may I get enlightened for the sake of all living beings, blah, 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 blah. Right? Like we all the time. But where are you on it? And how does that drive your behavior? It makes it much more alive. Right? So I invite you next week when we sit down and do this, we'll go through this again and we'll start getting those people to fight with these people on this topic. Yeah? And then uh, you can fight with each other and say, oh, let's answer this one. And then let's answer their answer with this one and be, do this. Yeah? You were going to say? No, that's okay. Stop lifting up your hands. Okay, no, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Wait, great compassion, does that, can you define it? You have to, I put it there because it, it's referenced in some of the study we've already done. I know, but, because you just said, uh, you don't have to have great compassion to get in line, but don't you have to have great compassion that stays? Don't you have to have great compassion to become a Buddha? You do. Yeah. To get bodhicitta, to become a Buddha, which was my mistake. I misworded the question. I meant reach Buddhahood. But she's like, right. I can get enlightened if I'm having a Hinayana response to you. Right, exactly. So we're yeah. saying, uh, right, enlightenment, uh, we're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about which I'm like, damn. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because we're thinking of enlightenment. I learned something. Yeah. You know? like, I'm like, yeah, that's a person. Because I thought we were in a Mahayana class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, say thank you, uh, dedicate all the goodness that you've had. If your head hurts, <laughs> oh my lantern. Can you get the Iranians to stop terrorism? Excuse me, so please. Go. No! <laughs> Chris, can you leave it in the Right. Chris, no, no, no. You do it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, really your deepest intent offering it. Yeah, your deepest. You actually have something to offer. You have all the mental work. 
You have all these karmic seeds in your mind with all your intention. Now you grab it and you give it away to as many beings as possible, enlightened beings if possible, and it will stay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to ultimate knowledge, ultimate wisdom for you. May you see clearly how to navigate your world so you are free from the cycles that bind you. And may you help others get that too. Thanks for talking with Thank each other about these things. Thank you for teaching. I will. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs>